What is going on everyone, welcome back to another video and today we have yet another HD598 comparison. This time we have three versions, we have the HD598 original Burlwood, we have the HD598 CS, and the HD 598 SR. And it's not gonna be so much of a review, more like a guide and comparison for current HD 598 owners, as well as a video to help you decide if you wanna upgrade or if you wanna get yourself one of these guys and you have no idea what to get because there are a few versions of these things. So without further ado, let's get right into it and see what we have here. All right, so there are actually about four different types of HD 598s. Three of them are open back and one of them is a closed back. And we have pretty much all of them right over here, even though we have three of them. And we're gonna be talking about all of them in just a bit. So just for reference, everything we're gonna be talking about here, except for the CS, which is this one right here, that has the velour ear pad, is an open back. The only HD 598 closed back is the CS. So you can see that right here, it is closed and pretty much doesn't have a mesh like the other ones do. It's a completely closed back and it's got a really nice velour texture right over here, along with the ear pads, which are also velour. So Let's talk about the open backs first. So for the open backs, we have three different variants. You have the Burlwood original HD598. This is just the HD598 that was known since release. And then later on, they released the HD598 Special Edition or the SE, which is pretty much the same headset, except it's in black. And then we have the HD598 SR, which is pretty much another black headset, except for a few changes like the impedance. Both of these sound pretty much the exact same. I have noticed no difference whatsoever. I've listened to an hour long video and replaying some videos over and over to see if there's any difference. Could not find any difference between the two. They pretty much sound the exact same. But the main differences come with the physical changes. One of them is actually a deeper ear pad. The ear pad here on the original was a bit too soft which I really like. Your ear may touch the bottom part just a tiny bit because it is just soft, but in my opinion, I really like these ear pads over the deeper ones here. Even though I actually like deeper ear pads, and here is why. Now, it could be a breaking period, but in my opinion, from what I see here, the ear cushions that they have used here are actually cheaper, and although they are thicker and might be nicer for some people, and they do feel pretty good, until you move just a tiny bit where these will actually squeak and it just feels really weird and it just feels extremely cheap compared to the original ear pads over here. So one thing I would like to see is them using the same materials I have used on the original except in a deeper format with this one. Now a change that is very welcome is that the headset is much more sturdier and what I mean by that is actually clamps better onto your head. So this one will wiggle less than this one. This thing wiggles like crazy. I mean, you can take a look at this thing. You put this on your head, you turn your head around, it will like simply just go all over the place. That said, this thing has taken some serious beating and has still been perfectly fine. I love this headset. It's a tank, along with the cable that I'm using right now. I'll talk about that in just a bit. But you can see with this one, it is much less uh, wiggly. You put it on your head, it will stay on there. And even if you run and do some crazy head movements, this thing will definitely stay onto your head perfectly fine. And um, that is a very welcome thing. So if you want more clapping power, get the SR or the CS, which we'll talk about in just a bit. And if you don't like very tight headsets and you want something flexible, then you can get the original HD598. Now the other welcome difference that has been done, some people like it, some people don't, I don't really mind either one, they both work very well, is that the top pattern right here has actually been changed compared to the original. So again, we have the original HD598 and then they have the SE, and basically it's a black version of this one. So the SE and the original HD 598s have this air cushion and what I think is the wiggly stuff and the softer ear pads. And then from those three, the SR is the one that has the new and improved headband and ear pads. Which brings us to the HD 598 CS, the closed back and the only closed back HD 598. Now personally, I have mixed feeling about this, but uh, mainly they're all positive and uh, it's really just preference. Basically, this is a closed back headphones. I am used and I love open back headphones. I love the sound stage and the quality that comes out of it. And pretty much anything you play on an open back headphone just sounds amazing and it just feels really dynamic. It is just as it sounds, it sounds like you're on a stage. It's very wide, it's big, you sound like you are there and you hear a whole lot more things like they are supposed to be. And that said, these are neutral headphones, so that's why I also like them. I play games on them, I watch videos, and I edit with these headphones. With this one, I actually rarely use them. I use them outside every now and then. So this thing right here has the biggest differences between all the other headphones. They have all the new features, plus some amazing, really awesome ones that I really enjoy personally. First of all, we have the new padding up top here, which is uh, supposed to last longer. It's much more cushiony, and overall, 
it feels pretty good. It is closer to your head. There is none of that old cushion that gets dry and starts cracking in the future uh, after a couple of years of use. Yes, you can replace it and buy it off Amazon to replace this part, but it's basically an air cushion. And some people like it, some people don't. I really don't mind which one I use. It's been pretty fine the whole way. It's just that now it's getting really crispy and, you know, ripping apart at this joint right here. But I've been using that one for about three to four years now. Once again, we have the new padding and we also have the nice clampness on this thing. This thing does get pretty tight and it stays on your head very nicely. Um, we got this really awesome velour outside uh, shell right here instead of the mesh that we usually have. We have a really awesome premium feeling and looking type of design right here. It is made out of velour. It's very soft. It feels like a microfiber cloth that has been stretched around this thing and it just looks really, really awesome. It's soft. In my opinion, this feels and looks like the most premium headset out of the bunch. I mean, this one does look premium too because of this color, but uh, in terms of build quality, it's, I don't know, it's got that kind of Sony heavy duty kind of thing. And the other thing that has been changed to complement the closed backness of this thing is that the padding here, it is amazing. Uh, what we have here is again, a velour uh, outside shell with the memory foam on the inside. I mean, just look at this beauty. It looks and feels amazing in my opinion. You put this on, it feels like the most comfortable headset they have ever put on. But when it comes to sound, of course, if you are used to the open backness of these type of things, uh, you're not gonna enjoy it too much. Everything sounds too close. That's my personal taste, but uh, it can change for you. If you're looking for some nice over the ear outside headphones, then these will definitely do the job. And again, they just feel amazing. And they probably keep you warm during winter because their closed backs and is just a really awesome premium material right here. And that's actually about it for the main differences between these three headphones. If you have an open back HG598, it pretty much sounds the same with all three models, but on the closed back, it sounds very close. It doesn't sound as dynamic, but uh, for music, it does have a bit more bass than the other ones right here. Really, you just have to try them out and see what you like about them. They are definitely not the bassiest headphones. They sound pretty neutral, but they do have a bit more bass than these guys right here. In my opinion, these are my go-to headphones for on-the-go headphones. And now let's go ahead and talk about the cabling. So with the original HD 598 what you get is a very long cable. Basically, they all use the same interface with what I think is a 2.5 millimeter headset jack that actually goes in and locks in by twisting it through these knobs right here and they all use the same exact thing and it's pretty awesome because it's very reliable you can just pop it in and use it and you're good to go so the cable here it's actually very long and on the other side i think you get a quarter inch uh, plug and then it comes with this long adapter so if you're in a pinch you can use this to hook it up to your phone or whatnot but obviously this is very long and i don't think it's very convenient so obviously what you do is you go get another cable and you would get something like this. This is uh, some cable that I, that I really can't find the name for. Uh, it's on Amazon, they're still selling it for like $25 Canadian. It's a pretty awesome cable, it is heavy duty, and has lasted as long as I had the headset here. Uh, for about three to four years of heavy abuse, uh, heavy use. Every now and then I would get off my chair and accidentally get caught on the cable, and this thing would come flying out of my FIO E10K DAC right here. It's a pretty awesome DAC that I totally recommend getting along with this headphone, or the close back headphones, because it gives you some really awesome sound quality and noise-free audio, and it can get pretty dang loud. I mean, you can use these headphones almost as speakers, but I wouldn't recommend it at all. Um, then you have the high gain and low gain, and they both sound pretty awesome. Then you have coaxial out, a line out for your speakers, so you can have your speakers and headphones playing at the same time, and the micro USB that goes to your computer to control and power this awesome little guy. So, totally recommend getting this. It's about $100 or so. Um, definitely a great buy along with these headphones and as well as this cable right here. And this cable has done me so well, they have actually bought another one right over here. And I'm having it in the package. At one point I thought it was broken, but really the cable was just loose just a tiny bit, so I had to just twist it back in and it was good to go. It's a pretty okay length, it's about a meter long, and this material is definitely not gonna go anywhere. It is super strong, it doesn't kink, it doesn't have any problems, and it's pretty lightweight. And once again, this is one of the most sturdiest cables I have ever laid my hands on. It is pretty damn awesome. Now, one thing you probably noticed is that right here, the spring is actually gone from mine. I accidentally pulled it just a tiny bit. It got screwed up and I just decided to pull it out completely and it's been fine ever since. Um, basically, you have a little spring right there to keep it from flexing and keeping it safe. And you also get this adapter right here, which adapts in a pretty awesome way. You simply screw it on and there you go, you get a dedicated, perfectly hooked up uh, quarter inch plug for your mixer or mix amp or DAC. It's pretty awesome, it's high quality, and it's gold plated. And I definitely, once again, recommend getting this cable because it's 
kind of a must have for this headphone, especially if you use it on your computer. This cable and this mix amp right here will definitely come in handy and improve your audio experience overall if you're using it for your computer. There's for editing, watching videos, and gaming, which I use it for. Uh, CSGO, Overwatch, PUBG, these headphones are amazing for that. Of course, they are not the best. There's always something better at a higher price point, but in my opinion, these are pretty great overall. And if you do get them on sale, I would definitely recommend getting them for around 150 or so. Price point for all of these guys, they usually vary from around 150, 120 sometimes, to 200 Canadian slash USD. Um, they always go on sale. Keep it in your Amazon cart, and eventually it will go on sale, and you can just get them and have a pretty awesome experience. Moving on to the other cables for these guys. Both of these guys actually come with this type of cable right here. It's also the same kind of design. Once again, it also clips into your headphones, then it adapts to a 3.5 millimeter, except this time, with a microphone and controller. So it's a rubberized cable, it's a short one, and it is meant to be used on your phone, your tablet, or whatnot. But even then, I will still recommend getting this one since it's much more lightweight and it moves much more freely. And yes, you also do get the very long cable included in the box for the SR and this adapter right here. And once again, you actually get the same thing with the closed back. It also comes with the very long quarter inch cable, except this time it doesn't come with the 3.5 millimeter adapter. So there you go. That's actually about it for these headphones. Which one should you get? If you're using this on your computer, which one you should get? Obviously get the open back headphones. Uh, decide on which one you want to get. Personally, I'm going to keep my original HD 598. It's perfectly fine. It sounds great and it is more comfortable, less annoying in some cases than the new one right here. Again, I have used this one for about two or three years and they have definitely been broken in. So I think sounds and feels pretty nice, but it still doesn't feel like the material on this one is the same on this guy. Because once again, I think I have used a very cheap material on this one. You can definitely feel the difference between the two. Here it feels more premium and very soft. This one kind of feels plasticky. I don't know how to describe it, but basically when you put it on and you move your head, you can hear some squeaking. It could probably be fixed over time. And although it clamps much better and has deeper ear pads, I'm still gonna go with the original one. So really, just go with whatever is on sale or whatever fits your budget, whatever you think looks nice. Definitely get the E10K DAC if you don't already have a proper audio solution to drive these things because they do require some power, but not too much power but a DAC will definitely help. But if you're someone who wants something on the go and wants these with the deep ear pads, these will definitely satisfy you, unless you already have some premium headphones. I can't speak for other headphones too much, but basically these are mostly neutral sounding. They do have some bass, not a whole lot, nothing crazy, but the ear pads and the comfort level on this thing, personally, I find to be just amazing, fantastic, and overall, just great. I really love how these feel and I am definitely keeping these and I've used these for about a year now even though I use them every now and then I just love how they feel and the premium material they have used on the ear pads it just feels amazing now there's actually one last thing and let's just answer a couple of random questions uh, I'm gonna answer them once again for computers get an open back for on the go get that and if you're someone who has an LG phone with a built-in deck like the V10 V20 V30 and I believe the G6 then pretty much all these headphones except for the closed back CS will be able to trigger the hi-fi quad deck. So there you go. Anyways, that is actually pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you have any questions that I have missed in this video. I know it has been kind of all over the place. It's kind of hard to compare these three plus the other one that we don't have on the table right here, but I have tried my best. This is a video, here you go. If you don't like it, dislike. If you like it, like it. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Anyways guys, links for everything will be in the description below if you guys are interested in checking the price out. And yeah, that is actually pretty much of this video. So thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe if you want like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care everyone.